Information was hard to come by in the days after the coup. The world's press fed on rumours, some true. The censorship was strict. It wasn't possible to report that there'd been a brief uprising in Crete. The opposition was in prison. The new ministers were silent. Seven days after the putsch, a minister gave a press conference. Colonel Papadopoulos is the minister to the Prime Minister, a kind of paymaster general. However, gentlemen, kindly do not forget that we are facing a patient, a patient just like a patient at, on the operating table, which, who, unless he is fastened to the operating table, cannot be given, cannot be given, uh, cannot be cured of his disease. John Morgan, BBC Panorama. The minister has very accurately described Greece as being a patient strapped to a table. What does he think of the view that the only thing wrong with the patient was that there might have been liberal victory in the elections on May the 28th? And is he concerned about the effect of the putsch on Greece's reputation in the world? The <laughs> Προσωπι... διειδικούς λόγους ο κίνδυνος δια την χώρα δεν ήτο is maybe the basic mistake of those who state who, who think that we were pushed to do that by personal reasons the danger which the danger which was faced which our country was facing was not the victory of one of of the of the pack of, of the party which you are insinuating. In short, in short, we had a revolution by Parliament. Your English colleague will through Parliament. Your English colleague will be able to see uh, how this purports to uh, Lord Liverpool in his uh, in his writings. <coughs> Uh, will the Minister answer, please, the second half of the question, which is, uh, is he concerned about the effect on world opinion of a sophisticated country like Greece having what appears to be a right-wing military coup, which is a rare thing in Europe? The salvation of the country is for us of greater importance than our belief to, to the ideals of a normal political life. At a military hospital in Athens, Mr. George Papandreou, the centre party leader, was having treatment for shock after his arrest. He'd been released and taken to the hospital. Papandreou? One o'clock. One o'clock, that's yes. it. Fine. Will you answer questions? Yes, only two questions. Two questions? Yes. Are they specified? Must they be at his house? And they have our treatment in the way the in the way the hospital is treating him. Yes. And that's all. We can't talk about the political situation. No, 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 no. Okay. The scramble at the hospital was humiliating for everyone involved. The journalists, the government, and for Mr. Papandreou. A government which had organized one of the most efficient and bloodless putsches in modern history found the exhibition of the old liberal leader to the press beyond its competence. Mr. Papandreou would probably have been Prime Minister again at the end of May if the putsch had not prevented the general election. What the new government feared was that he would then retire and make way for his left-wing son, Andreas. To the two permitted questions, Mr. Papandreou told me he was being well treated and, rather cryptically, that his door was guarded. He was certainly not allowed to speak freely. To be frank, much of the bourgeoisie is perfectly happy with the colonel's takeover. They fear communism, they like the anti-union laws which ban strikes, and they want to go on making money without the dangers of party political turbulence. 
At least some respond to the colonel's talk of national reformation. None of these people at a theatre party given by Mr. Skelitsis seemed to be suffering. They were there to see a performance of choruses from classical tragedy. And the Minister of Information himself has chosen to fly here today to give all these majors and captains and lieutenant colonels a pet talk. His talk is compulsory and it's going to last for four hours. But unfortunately, the minister at first found it difficult to warm to his theme. Overnight rain had damaged the loudspeaker cables. They relayed instead embarrassing pop music from the local radio station. The colonels also claim to have restored the economy as part of their national reformation. Growth does continue and the currency is strong, but Greece is an associate member of the common market and parts of the Rome Treaty affecting Greece are now suspended. The Minister of Finance's press conference to announce his new budget. BBC Panorama, Minister, what proportion of the current budget is going to go on defence and yes. all defence subjects? And what proportion of gross national product of Greece is that? The finance minister is a lawyer, not an economist. It is said that the government's short of talent since it drove out so many experienced men. The defence budget doesn't appear particularly big, but, of course, there's still a lot of military help from the Americans. Does it worry you at all that there's no apparent prospect of elections? Of any election? Elections. Elections. Oh. Uh, I, I can say my opinion at this point. Uh, let's forget it. <laughs> let's forget it. Uh, Forget it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of what the government's achieved in the last know. five years? I don't know. I beg your pardon? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. You don't know what the government's achieved? Yeah. But surely everybody must know what the government's done in the last five years here. But I don't know. What do you think of what the government's achieved here in the last five years? Uh, you picked the wrong man to ask the right question. Why are you the wrong man? Why is it the right question? Well, if I give you the proper answer, you might not see me here tomorrow. What's the proper answer?